Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another uh, tutorial on how to well in this tutorial I'm going to just teach you how to use Faker so I'm in my terminal right now um, this is the root folder lar2 is just the root folder and this is what you see on the home page this doesn't really matter what really matters at the moment is me trying to just create a new model and teaching you how to just generate fake data creating a model ma making a migrations file then creating a factory and then seeding the data to you know create uh, rows of data but right now I'm in my terminal and what we need to do right now is create a model so right now I'm just going to create a model and I'm going to call it make model and I am going to call the model football roster and then I'm going to put dash m to also create a migrations file for that model so I'm going to hit enter and the model has been created successfully great so if you go into I'm actually in WinSCP for the FTP um, server or application whatever you get it and I reload you see football roster and if I go to database uh, migrations reload you see this so we're going to open this up and right now it just only has ID and timestamps these timestamps is just a column that says updated at and created at we're going to put some other stuff here um, like since it's a football roster we do need a name so I think uh, we have string oops, string and then we'll put name um, and then we'll have the characters to be only a hundred and then we'll have uh, weight um, and then we'll have the oops, what am I doing integer I'm sorry is a method and I want to put weight and then we will have a uh, position so we're gonna put string here um, maybe I'm put maybe I'll put enum actually I'll put enum and I actually forgot how to do it. I think enum you just had to put arrays. So in this particular example, um, I don't know if this is the first parameter or second parameter you have to use it. So let me actually go to Lorbo real quick here. Uh, enum. Okay, yes. So the first parameter, all you have to do is put um, the name of the column. So we're going to put position. And the second parameter, you have just an array of all the positions. I'm not going to put all the positions in football. So I'm just going to put like quarterback. Uh, I'm probably just going to put all offensive linemen. All, I mean, all offensive positions. Running back. Uh, and I'll put... Uh, mm, wide receiver and I'll just put linebacker you know I mean linebacker I don't know if I should put running back uh, separately or I should put both well quarterback is to the same so we just have four positions linebacker wide receiver um, and that's it so now what we're gonna do is go back into the terminal and we're gonna do P HP artisan migrate so it has been migrated meaning the table has been created and it should be shown in my MySQL workbench so right now you see a number of tables but if I hit reload so I right click on tables and refresh all football rosters here and you see updated uh, ID created updated name weight position great so now let's create a factory and the way you do that is you put PHP artisan make factory and I'll put football roster factory I wonder if I could put table and put uh, football rosters what will happen I think I'm gonna get an error message yeah that doesn't make any sense okay I just wanted to try something real quick okay let's hit enter factory was created now we go to 
We're out of database. Now we go to factories and now we hit reload. Football roster factory. Hooray. Now we actually have to um, get the actual model that we're trying to get, which is the football roster. Um, and so we go football roster. And then we copy this. And then we paste this. Now this is where we're going to generate all of the fake content with Faker. With Faker, I think I have it open. So Faker is a good way to generate fake data. And here's all the different methods that you can use to generate fake data. So right now we don't have to worry about the IDs. All we have to worry IDs or the timestamps. All we need to know about or worry about is the name, um, the position, and the weight. So let me add weight here. Um, and let me add position. So with the name. If you just use faker name, they always add like suffix. I don't know. I don't know if it's called suffix suffixes. Um, and those su suffix ah, suffixes are like Doctor Sane Strowman or Professor something something. Like all these football players are not doctors and definitely not professors. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use first name male and then uh, concatenate it with the last name, right? So what we're going to do is hit faker. first name male and concatenate it when add a space do another faker and put last name and then we'll have weight here and with faker we'll use a method I think it's called number in between or something like that let me check let me double check on that and it's called number between so we're going to use that. And let's say, okay, so the first parameter is going to be the min, uh, uh, the min amount of numbers, the minimum amount of numbers you can use, and the maximum. So it's going to always fall in between this range. So in between, in the very least, they have to weigh 170. And in the very, at the very maximum, they're going to weigh we'll say 300 that's fine and now with position so I already had like I used a four uh, enum to create the different positions there are only four positions at the moment and I'm gonna actually use um, yeah I think I'm gonna use number in between again to pick the number between one to four because I have four right and with enums, you can actually put the, the name. You can actually put the name of the value, or you can put the number. So since quarterback is the first one, you could put one, and linebacker is the fourth one, you put four. So anywhere, you know, you can just put that. So I'm just going to put one to four, and I'm going to save it. All right, so now I'm in database seated, and I already have football roster here. So in order to create like multiple seeds or multiple rows, you do this, you put factory and then you put the name of the model and then the second parameter is the number of data rows you're just going to generate. In this particular example, we're going to use football roster. And we're going to generate about 100 instead of 1000. And we'll just save it. So everything should be working maybe i did something incorrect but we'll see right when i work with the terminal so let's clear this out and let's put php artisan db seed and the database seeding completed successfully don't worry about this this is some stupid thing i need to clear up but when i go back into here and i hit the lightning bolt let's see if there is any data that okay data has been generated and as you see here, um, you have the first name, last name, which we created because we used the first name male. Then we concatenated it with the last name and had some spacing. And we have just a range of different weights from 291. It's the first one. It's, he's 291 pounds and he's a quarterback. That is one fat ass quarterback. So I just wanted to create a simple example of how to generate data, how to create a model. Create a migrations table, um, 
execute the migrations table so the table will be created and then generate fake data for that table. I appreciate it. So yeah, the end.